Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Roger Skaka Sungura YouTube channel once again. And I want to thank each and every one of you who is giving us support in growing this channel. And it's growing at a very high rate. Those who give their comments at the comment section, I want to thank you so much because your feedback really helps us in uh, reforming each day. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, the only way you can help me is by clicking that subscriber button and remember to turn on your notification bell so that once I upload, you are able to be notified. So many people have inboxed me and asking me, Kaka, how do we support you? If you feel like you want to support Kaka Sungura, my number is down there, 0700169444. Recently, I received 6,000 from a, from a friend and I don't know because... He sent on Wave, and Wave doesn't bring your phone number. So, uh, I want to thank you. If you sent and you're watching this video, may God bless you so much. So, if you want to support Kaka, my number is down there. You can send them Pesa, and may God bless you. Back to the Kenyan politics, ladies and gentlemen. And I will be mixing Swahili and English, so that as usual, my point can be understood by all people. Um, I have been reading on internet and other news outlets about the current happenings in the national political arena between the Deputy President William Ruto and the government of Kenya. You know, there is a saying that goes, power is temporal. Power never lasts forever. We thought that Mugabe will never get out of power. But then you know what happened to him. And I want to advise from this platform that when you have power, use that power wisely. Because that power one day will fade away. I remember when William Ruto was in government, 2013, running all the way to early 2019. Ruto had command powers in government. And I remember very well the days Raila Odinga wanted to do his campaigns in Jakaranda. I remember a day that commands that were given by William Ruto through Dr. Fred Matiangi when Raila Odinga wanted to use Jacaranda, they sent Mike Sonko with sewage akamwaka the whole field in Jacaranda. Matiangi unleashed police officers with rungus and they manned that field all day long. <laughs> I remember William Ruto making one statement to Raila Odinga. Tunataka kumwambia bwana kitenda wili. Wachana na Matiangi anafanya kazi yake. That statement is ringing in my mind up to date. That is William Ruto. I am told and I have read that Ruto wanted to use Kasarani Stadium to do his final rally before the 9th August polls. And I'm told he has been blocked because the government says it has other functions to carry out in that field. Exactly what the government is doing to William Ruto is the same, same, same thing that the government under the commands from William Ruto did to Raila Odinga in 2017. Because I recall Royal Odinga being blocked in a number of stadiums. The government claims it's doing renovations. I remember very well. But you know, Ruto is a bishop and is a preacher of the word, as he says. I want to remind him, using a couple of verses here today. My Bible in the book of Luke chapter 6 verse number 31. It tells me very clearly, treat others the same way you could wish them to treat you. 
if Raila could have gently treated Raila Odinga by that time, then Raila could be treating him gently today. The command powers that Ruto had in government by that time have been transferred to Raila Odinga. By then, Ruto could tell Uru, Raila anakaja karanda to many songs on a sewage. Wana two man. Raila anenda jakaranda to many matiangi na polisi. Wana two mana. Today, Raila Odinga is running those commands. So, I believe that if there is a person who should cry the lowest as far as Jakaranda is concerned, is our able deputy president, William Samoe Ruto. What am I saying, ladies and gentlemen? William Ruto became a bad servant when Uru Kenyatta wanted him the most. Uru trusted William Ruto with government, but Ruto never became a good servant. Uru Kenyatta trusted Ruto in running Jubilee development projects across the country. Ruto became a bad servant. He ate to the last coin. The stadiums he promised are stalled. The dams, Kimorel, are all. They were milked to the last cent. And now, the Bible tells me in the book of Matthew chapter 24, verse number 45 to number 47. This one, I will read, you understand. Bible says in English, A faithful comma, sensible servant, is one to whom the master can give the responsibility of managing his other household servants and feeding them. Full stop. If the master returns and finds that the servant has done a good job, there will be a reward. I tell you the truth. This is Jesus telling his disciples in his teachings. The master will put that servant in charge of all he owns. Let me explain. The president of the Republic of Kenya trusted William Ruto with other servants in his household, state house, and Kenyans. Ruto became a bad servant. Uru gave Ruto responsibility of running Jubilee projects. Ruto never became a faithful servant. If Ruto reads the Bible, I petition him today from this platform to go and read this verse. If Ruto became obedient to Uru Kenyatta, if Ruto was a faithful servant, if Ruto was a sensible servant, when Uru trusted him the most, as we speak today, Uhuru could have put him in charge of other servants, that is Kenyans, by endorsing him for president August this year. But because Ruto became a bad servant, that is... The, the Bible clearly says that a trustworthy servant, listen to the people who are even working in offices, if your boss can never trust you, it will never give you any responsibilities. Because the Bible says, if the master can trust a servant, then when he returns and finds everything is okay, that master will put you in charge and will give you a reward. Ruto lacked this. And I want to tell him, instead of fighting to use a kasarani, you are able, with all due respect, your excellency, sir, I remember that you built nine stadiums. Kamarinyi being one of the historic stadiums that you built. Kindly, with all due respect, Kamarinyi is available for you. You can use the Kamarinyi in crowning your campaigns ahead of the August election. It's in an international state. 
You can drive there with your audience, use that stadium, and nobody will question you. The stadium in water, which you said will be built to an international standard, Your Excellency, sir, the stadium, I believe, up to today, has been built to an international stadium. Please, with all due respect, the stadium in water is available for use. You can go out there, use it, and no one will question. The stadium in Kiambu that was to be built in six months' time is available for you. Instead of fight, fighting government to use Kasarani, just walk into one of the nine stadiums. And I believe, you know, Kamarini, the way you are, the way you are, the way you are pronouncing Kamarini, I, I, I thought, by now, I, I just want to picture, I'm, I'm trying to draw a picture of Kamarini, how it looks, if at all it was built. By now, it will be far much ahead of Kasarani. So, it's available for you. A historic stadium, Your Excellency, sir. That was to be completed in three months' time. It's free. You can use it. Ruto never guards his mouth from whatever he speaks. If he could have guarded his mouth by 10, by then, not 10. I don't know why I'm shrapping. If Ruto could have guarded his mouth by then, one, by respecting the president, Two, by not abusing Ruto anyhow. Three, by not encouraging the bad things that the police did to Raila Odinga. By tiagazing him, by locking him out of Kenyan stadiums, Ruto was encouraging them. The speeches are there to his topmost voice. Respect Matiangi and Nafanya Kaziyake. Nanataka ni mwambia ruto leo. Heshimu serakali inafanya kazi yake. Kama ime kuambia kazarani haipo, please, pack and leave. Right? Serakali imesema, kazarani kona kazi nyingine. Tafadhali, heshimu serakali kwa sababu serakali inafanya kazi yake. I want to read for you a verse here. The book of Proverbs 21 verse number 33. Whoever guards his mouth and tongue keeps his soul from trouble. If Ruto could have guarded his mouth and tongue never to speak ill of the president, by now, Ruto could not be in trouble. But because he is a servant, because he is a sheep in the wall of his skin, yani kutoka inje, yeye ni mbwa mwitu. Kutoka inje, yeye Nikondo, yes, very humble, very gentle, very calm. Lakini ndani kwa ro, ni umbwa mwitu. I don't know if Ruto reads these verses as he claims. Matthew chapter 7 verse number 12. It says, so whatever you wish that others will do to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophets. So whatever, if Ruto wanted good by now, he could have done good by then. Kama Ruta alikuwa nataka fanyue mazuri leo. Angefanya hayo mazuri wakati alipo kuwa na nguvu katika serekali. Lakini kwa sababu Ruto thought power will never fade away. Power is slowly shifting away. And let me tell you, Mr. Deputy President. No, Mr. That is disrespect. I'm sorry and I withdraw. Let me tell you, my able Deputy President, Dr. William Samoe Kipuchirichi Ruto. But Your Excellency, sir, I'm addressing you from this platform. You may never get this video, but I believe along your way, even if it's 20 years to come, you will one day get hold of it. I want to tell you that power is temporal. Power fades away. And power is indeed fading away from you. It's better you prepare in advance or else you pay whatever you did to Raila Odinga and Uru Kenyatta. That is my simplest advice. May God bless you so much. 
Asanteni sana. Keep subscribing. Keep watching. Mungu wabariki sana. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen.